is a continuation of my book called The Quran Says What, which is a collection of uh, uh, dialogues I've had with Muslims over the past couple of months. And uh, it's one of my latest books, which means I've become more knowledgeable about Islam, which means it's more valuable than the books that proceeded from it. I mean, be, uh, proceeded before it. That's it. Okay. So, anyway, uh, I'm just trying to make this thing uh, legible now. Or, yeah, readable, legible. It le I think it le read legible means le readable, so, yeah. I'm trying to make it readable here so it can go by faster when I uh, present it to you. Alright. Almost done. Yeah. Okay, anyway, when, I be, when I'm reading my words, I'll be using this on my face. When I do the Muslims, I'll be using the uglier side of my face, using the Fu Manchu accent. Yeah. Okay. At least what I've heard, I've heard it mean, I, I heard I sound like a Fu Manchu when I do a Muslim accent. Well, Arabic, mock Arabic accent here, so. Okay, almost done here. Yeah. This might be confusing because I think my friend jumped in. Yeah. Okay, this is on the this this is on the video called uh, "Don't Be Sad," a powerful reminder, and I get the thing going by saying, according to Sahih Hadith, Muhammad said that after you are blood a blood, a blood clot for forty days is an embryo, an angel angel comes with uh, comes with uh, special instructions written by Allah on whether or not you'll be in paradise or hell. So really, it's not just jihad, nor good deeds that keep you from hell. It's what Allah wrote before you were born, and after you were blood clot for 40 days. Well, then after 40 days of being a blood clot, then you are a morsel of flesh for 40 days. And then, the angel comes. But I like to say, I like to say blood clot and, and skip the morsel of flesh stuff because uh, the blood clot part goes along with the Quran, which now Muslims are trying to say means not blood clot, but uh, then it becomes like a leech. <laughs> okay. So, that got a Muslim saying, Allah writes several things for you, but it's up to you to choose which one is you and which place you will go. The angels write based on the future that you chose, not what Allah all chose for you. So you write those special instructions before you were born. Where does it say that? Dude, called me dude. Dude, I meant after you're born. You are the only one to make decisions to either follow Allah or not to either go to hell or not. So you can rewrite what all is sent to you in the womb of being in hell, fire, or paradise. If so, where in the Quran or Hadith does it say you can change what Allah wrote? You do everything on your own will. I bet you don't believe the Quran that says Allah wills on off the right path as Allah pleases, true? And angels and Allah are not the ones who do your life for you. I take it you don't believe the Sahih Hadith about special instructions sent by an angel into the womb and don't believe Allah will, wills on and off the right path as Allah pleases like the Quran says, true? You don't believe that. Allah knows what you will do and where you will go based on what you chose. What does Allah wills on off the right path mean to you? I'm just praying you understand where I'm coming from. What I'm understanding is that you don't believe what Sahih Hadith says about special instructions uh, and what the Quran says about Allah willing on and off the right path. You seem to believe your free will trumps Allah's will and Allah's special instructions. You know something? You didn't respond after that. So this is now another Muslim. Okay. But it starts when I say this. I say, uh, if the Bible has been tampered with, then you shouldn't obey Quran 9, uh, you shouldn't obey Quran 1094 and come to me for my reading, not reciting, but my reading of the before scriptures, uh, the Bible. I mean, really, if the Quran is the only thing that's not uh, corrupted, you, as a Muslim, should not obey 
Quran 1094. Uh, where is the proof of your craziness? Another one said, read Matthew 12, 36. Compare it with signs of Jonah. You will come to know how stupid the stupid the, you believe contract. I what? Where is gospel of Jesus? Oh, I see. In my Bible, known as the New Testament, uh, after all, the Quran says uh, Jesus and his followers will prevail and be uppermost the day of resurrection. If the New Testament isn't the gospel that the Quran is talking of, about, then the Quran is false. For how can Jesus and his followers be uppermost and prevail if the Angel gospel has been lost or corrupted? How can the Quran be true with Quran 547 when it tells Christians to use the angel to judge their end of the Quran if the um, angel is lost or corrupted. Also, if the angel is lost or corrupted, then how can Quran 4, 136, 150, 151, 152, 2, 285, and 40, 70, 72 be true when it tells you, a Muslim, to believe in all the books of Allah and make the distinction between all his books. If the Quran is the only book that isn't lost or corrupted, seems you can make distinction and don't have to believe in all the books of Allah. Thus, you don't have to believe in or follow Quran for 136, 150, 151, 152, 285, and 40, 70, 72. And you certainly don't have to believe or follow Quran 1094 about coming to me for my reading the Before Scriptures Bible. We don't care about look Matthew, Mark, or Paul. You should. For Quran 548 says the Quran confirms whatever scripture that went before it. See the pixel version of the Quran for that. We believe gospel revealed on Jesus, not other ones. Then the Quran is false. For Quran 61 14, Yusuf Ali uh, says this, O ye who believe, be ye helpers of Allah, as said Jesus, uh, the son of Mary to us, the disciples, quote, who will be my helpers to the work of Allah? Said the disciples, we are all his helpers. Then a portion of the children of Israel believed and a portion disbelieved. But we, that's Allah saying we, even though shirk is the worst of uh, things to Allah, but we, Allah, uh, gave power to those who believed against their enemies and this is the kicker and they became the ones that prevailed you get that they're the ones that came, became the ones that prevailed and there and of course there's Quran 355 that says and this is the pixel version when Allah said oh Jesus lo I am gathering thee and uh, causing thee to ascend unto me now he's not calling himself our this time or we are, are us and I'm cleansing thee of those who disbelieve and am setting those who follow thee above those who disbelieve until the day of resurrection you get that all is gonna cleanse though and, and yeah and he's gonna set those who follow thee follow Jesus the more the, the Quran Jesus the Muslim Jesus above those who disbelieve unto the day of resurrection so that means the Christians never should have become big with their New Testament gospel in Jill then unto me ye will all return and I shall judge between you as to what therein be used to deliver to differ wherein you used to differ and in Quran it is written about Gospels, not about Bible. If so, then what is the book that makes people the book? And what are the before scriptures? What are the books of Allah you, a Muslim, are to believe in and make no distinction between or be far astray and dragged off into hellfire? See Quran, that'd be Quran 4, 136, 150, 151, 152, 2285, and 40, 70 through 72. We don't care about Luke, Matthew, Mark, or Paul. You should. For Quran 548 says the Quran confirms whatever scriptures I went before it. According to Pickle. We believe gospel revealed uh, on Jesus, not other one. And again, I've mentioned about those scriptures I gave. You know, Quran 355 and Quran uh, 6114. Yeah. Okay. Provide then they want. But I don't able 
Oh, he, oh, he must have deleted my stuff. Okay, because I'm just talking to no one. Oh, then I, then I say this. I say, uh, provide what? There is no God. That's the tr oh, so, oh, someone jumped in. Like an atheist jumped in. I go, if there is no God, then you have to believe in eternal time and energy, or time and energy popping to, into existence for no rhyme or reason. And you know something? I bet I've got to end it here. No, I can still go. There's still some more time here. Okay, good. All right. Now that got some other guy talking, and he said this. From my perspective, there isn't a one true God, nor was there ever a Jesus the Christ. There are many gods, if you consider that a God is something superior to you. A God could be just a higher conscious. Be oh, you know something? I bet this, I bet this guy is not a Muslim. I, okay, he's not a Muslim. But I get into it with him. Okay. Well, if he's not a Muslim, I won't read it with a Fu Manchu accent here. Okay, I'll read it his way. From my perspective, I know, since he might be an atheist, I'll write, I'll read it with a snobby uh, uh, atheist. I'll, or I'll read it in my snobby atheist accent. How's that? Which means I'll be doing Stewie Griffin here. Or trying to do Stewie Griffin here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Stewie Griffin coming up here. Yeah. Because <laughs> Stewie Griffin is my atheist. Uh, when, I, when I do atheist, I usually do Stewie Griffin. All right. From my perspective, there isn't a one true God, nor was there ever a Jesus the Christ. There are many gods if you consider that a God is superior, is something superior to you. A God could be just a higher conscious being. Uh, an example, a dog may consider a human, a god, as, as the human, is a higher conscious being. Uh, that being said, god, dog, dogma, uh, there was uh, that was funny to me anyway. If if there was no true one God and Jesus the Christ was made up uh, made up story, then uh, then both Christianity and Islam are both uh, complete lies. And uh, then again, uh, it would mean that Muhammad lied to his followers and about praying with Jesus, as I mentioned earlier. Why in uh, the spirit realm would a spirit being ever need to pray to God if God was there? Uh, there is all. This that is all moot for me because Muhammad lied to ma manipulate his followers so he could get what he wanted. Muhammad was an amazing genius at manipulation. I embrace the Muslims, the Christians, the Buddhists, all of them, uh, all as they all have to be. Organized religion is just a way of controlling and keeping humans stupid and living in fear of, of what of which does not exist. And then he attacks some other guy. The yep, assertions or perceptions. Oh, the guy must lead to deception. So he's talking to him for nothing. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, assertion or perception, or, or maybe to some it's deception. I philosophize and work within logic uh, for myself. Isn't science a way of uh, proving different philosophies? Your reality is truth for you. Uh, my reality is truth for me. Proof at the right time. Proof, though, may not be truth to some, nor matter what. Is the earth oblong, flat, or a sphere? If the four angels at the four corners of the earth are literal, then Jerusalem is dead smack in the middle. Isn't that where the Anunnaki landing sites were, and the nuclear devices detonated just before uh, 2000 BC? I, I'm being facetious. I like the way you think based on what you have posted. Um, and and the Muslim says, then the prop. Uh, okay, then I, uh, then I say this, I say, Oh, then another one jumped in and said, the, the Bible is distorted book. It's a man-made book. There, where is the Gospel of Jesus? And I say this. There never was a book called the Gospel of Jesus. Muhammad confused the New Testament, which is gospel or good news, a Greek word to Christians. Oh, you know something? I better stop it here. I bet I have to stop it here now. Oh, yeah, I do. Ooh, 